Dear students, welcome to another session of my lecture series on first semester mathematics course, calculus and linear algebra, particularly module five of calculus and linear algebra, bearing code eighteen mat level. I am Dr. Viram Chandramurthy, professor of mathematics and head of the department of basic sciences. R R Institute of Technology, Chikmagalur, Bangalore. In continuation to my previous lecture, let me consider in this session the problems on solving system of linear equations. The problem number two. Test for consistency and sum. So we know that the system of equations is consistent if it has a solution. If it does not possess a solution, then the system of equations is said to be inconsistent. So first we shall test for the consistency and then solve. <coughs> test for consistency. Test for consistency and solve the equations x plus y plus z is equal to three. X plus two y plus three z. Is equal to four. X plus four y plus nine z is equal to six. The first we shall check for the consistency. If it is consistency, it will have a solution. Maybe unique solution or infinite number of solutions, and then. We saw. So solution part. First, we shall write down this system of equations in the matrix equation form. Solution. The given system of equations. The given system. Determine matrix form in matrix form in matrix form can be written as can be written as a x is equal to a x is equal to Where, where A is the coefficient matrix with entries one, 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 two, three, one, four, nine. This is the coefficient matrix. Coefficient matrix. X is the column matrix of unknowns. X is with the unknowns x, y, z. B is the column matrix of constants three, four, six, three, four, six. Now consider the augmented matrix. The augmented matrix is the augmented augmented matrix matrix 
is is matrix a bar b is equal to 1 1 1 1 1 1 3 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 4 9 6 1 4 9 6 Let us have used this magnetic matrix to its economic form. Now, this magnetic matrix is equal to so there is only the first of first advantage. So just subtract this R1, R1, row 1, this is R2, that is row 2. And this is R3 row 2. Row 2. Let us subtract R2 from R1. Then R3 from R1. I get these two elements 0. Okay. So this is equivalent to equivalent to. So R1 is being used to make changes. So let me write here. So R2 will change. R2 will change with respect to the operation. R2 minus R2. Similarly, R3 will change with respect to the operation R3 minus R1. R3 minus R1. So again, equivalent matrix. So R1 is being used. So there is no change. No change in R1. So write R1 as it is. 1, 1, 1, 3. 1, 1, 1, 3. Then R2 minus R1. So it is very simple. 1 minus 1, 0. 2 minus 1, 1. 3 minus 1, 2. 4 minus 3 is 1. Then similarly, R3 minus R1. 1 minus 1. 0, 4 minus 1, 3, 9 minus 1, 8, 6 minus 3 is 3. Okay, so next, <coughs> the leading entry in the second row is to the right of the leading entry of the row above it. And I have to make this element 0 using this leading entry of the second. So, how do I do that? So, there is one again here advantage. Multiply R2 by 3 and then subtract with R3. That will give you uh, <coughs> this element 0. So, this is equivalent to. Now, R3 will change with respect to the operation R3 minus. 3 times R2 minus 3 times R2. So I get an equivalent matrix. So row 1 is not, not disturbed now. 3. The row 2 is being used here. So I will write as it is. So there will be change in R3 with respect to this operation. R3 minus 3 times. 3 minus 3. So this is 0. Because this is nothing will happen to this element. So 3 minus 3 is 0. 8 minus 3 to 2 minus 6 that is 2. Then 3 minus 3 is 0. Okay. So this is the leading entry to the third row. And it is to the right of the leading entry of the row above it. So this is the ekran form. This is the ekran form. Okay. Okay. Now, so just 
close this column what you find is the gaussian matrix in its echelon form and if i remove this what you see is admitted matrix in its echelon form so the gaussian matrix has the rank 3 the number of consonants 1 2 3 admitted matrix is also of rank 3 1 2 3 so from this we clearly understand that rank of the admitted matrix is equal to the rank of the gaussian matrix both are equal to 3 so from this it is clear that from this it is clear that rank of admitted matrix rank of admitted matrix is equal to rank of quotient matrix both are equal to 3 which is equal to number of elements that is very important number of elements there are three elements 1 2 3 equal to number of elements number of elements number of elements that means the given system of equations is consistent because rank of admitted matrix is equal to rank of quotient matrix it is consistent since it is equal to number of unknowns it has one and only one solution that is it has a unique solution let us find out what is that solution it is now this shows that
So y is equal to from 3, 1, from 1, x is equal to 3 minus y minus z. So z is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. So this is equal to 3, y is 1, minus 1, minus z is 0. So this is 2. The unique solution is, unique solution is, x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1, z is equal to 0. Okay. So this completes the problem. Now let me consider another example. system of equations in the matrix equation form. The given system of equations in matrix equation form, the given system of equations In matrix form, in matrix equation, in matrix equation form can be written, can be written as AX is equal to two. AX is equal to so when A is a quotient matrix, where A is the quotient matrix with the address all quotients of X in the first column. Uh, so in order, so 3, 3, 2, that's it. The next equation. Quotient of x is 1, quotient of y is 2, so there is no z, so 0 into 0. So I have to write 0 there. Then third equation, there is no quotient of x here, x term, so 0. Then we have 10 as the quotient of y, 10, and 3 quotient of z. Uh, then you have 2 from the last equation, minus 3 then minus 1 
This is the coffin like this. X is number of anomalies. Number of anomalies. Uh, unknowns. Column matrix of unknowns. You have three unknowns. X, Y, Z. Then B, a column matrix of constants. 1, 4, minus 2, 5. 1, 4, minus 2, 5. Okay. So this is the coefficient matrix. Coefficient matrix. Coefficient matrix. Now let us construct the augmented matrix. The augmented matrix of the multistomorphic equations are in charge. The augmented matrix, the augmented matrix is of the given system of equations. That is understanding. Augmented matrix of the given system of equations is. Uh, let me write here A bar B. So B is equal to 3, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 0, 4, 1, 2, 0, 4, 0, 10, 3, minus 2, 0, 10, minus 3, ah, plus 3. 0, 10, 3, minus 2, minus 2, 2, minus 3, minus 1, 2, minus 3, minus 1, 4. So this is the augmented matrix of the given system of equations. Let us reduce this augmented matrix of the given system of equations to a current forum and then verify for consistency. If it is consistent, then we shall solve the given system of equations. Okay. So I will take my is now equal to. Is equal to now at all, uh, there is a, a zero in the radiate to the third row, so I have to interchange R2 and R, uh, R3 and R4 as a first step. So I interchange R3 with R4. So the first step, let us push this row to the bottom level, then there is no change in R1. 3, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 0, 4, 1, 2, 0, 4, and 2, minus 3, 2, minus 3, minus 1, 5, then 0, 10, 3, 0, 10, 3, minus 2, So this is the <coughs> equivalent matrix. Now we shall make these two elements zero using three. So what I can do here? I can multiply R two by three and then subtract from R. Similarly, I can multiply R two R three by three and R one by two and then subtract the resulting uh, corresponding elements this element 0. This element is being already 0. Let us not disturb this 0. So now further this is equivalent to now R2 will change with respect to uh, <coughs> the operation R2 minus 3R2 minus R2. 
3 R2 minus R1. Then to make this element 0, R3 will change with respect to the operation. Uh, 3 R2 minus 2 R2. 2 R2. So again another equivalent matrix. So row 1 is being used. So now change in row 1. So I will just write as it is 3, 3, 2, 1. Uh, this is changed. Uh, subject to this operation. Let me work out here. 3 times R1, 3 into 1 minus R1. So 3 minus 3 is 0. This element is 0. Then again 3 times 2 uh, minus uh, 3. So 6 minus 3 is 3. So this element is 3. Okay. Then 3 times next element uh, 0. 3 to 0 minus corresponding element is 2. So this is minus 2. So this is minus. Next, 3 times 4 minus corresponding element is 1. This 12 minus 1 is 11. Is 11. Okay, now similar thing. Uh, the next row will change with respect to this operation. So let us work it out. 3 into R3, sir. This is R, R3. R3. 3 into 2 minus 2 into 3. So 6 minus 6 is 0. So this element is 0. This element is 0. Next, 3 into minus 3. Minus 2 into corresponding element is uh, 3. So minus 9, minus 9, minus 6, so minus 15, minus 15. Then, this is minus 15. So 3 times minus 1 minus 2 into 2. So this is minus 3 minus 4 minus 7 minus 7. So 0 minus 15 minus 7. That last week 3 into 5 minus 2 into corresponding element is 1. So 15 minus 2 that is, this is 15 minus 2 is 13. So, we are not determining the last row because that entry is already a 0. So, we will simply write down 0, 10, 3, minus 2. Okay. So, now, <coughs> leading into the second row. I have to make elements below that element 0. So, using this 3, I have to make this element 0 and this element 0. This is very simple. Multiply this by 5, get 50. Add with this. Add with this. Then multiply row 4 by 3 and row 2 by 10. And then subtract, so this element will become 0. So, don't worry about the remaining element. Only concentrate on these two elements. So this is equivalent to now R3 will change with respect to the operation. Now because there is a negative sign here, so I can simply add R3 plus 5 times R2. Then similarly to make this 0, R4 will change subject to uh, 3 times R4. Now it is minus because both are plus sign. I have to subtract minus 
10 times R. So I get equivalent matrix. We get equivalent matrix. Now R1 and R2 may not be disturbed. They have to be, they have to be written as it is. 3, 3, 2, 1. 3, 3, 2, 1. Then 0. 3, minus 2, 11. 0. Now let us see how this is going to be 0. So R3 is minus 15. A plus 5 times corresponding R2 is 3. Minus 15 plus 15 is 3. Then next element minus 7 R3 plus 5 times corresponding R2 is minus 2. This is equal to minus 10 minus 7 minus 7. So this is minus 7. The next 13 plus 5 times corresponding R2 is 11. So this is going to be uh, 55 plus 13, 13 plus 55, so 68, so this is 68. Okay. So this element is 0 because this element is 0. <coughs> Nothing will happen to that element. Now let us look at this operation. R4 will change with respect to this operation. So 3 times a 10, 10 minus 10 times corresponding element is 3. 30 minus 30 is 0. Then 3 times 3 next element minus 10 into minus 2. So this is 9 plus 20, 29. This is 29. Okay. Then lastly, 3 into minus 2. Corresponding element of R2 is 11. So if you calculate this, this is 110 plus a minus 6, so 160. So minus 116. Minus 116. So now, using this, 17. I have to make this zero. I have to make this element zero in order to reduce the integral of R. So only one operation. Now this is equivalent to R4 will change subject to the transformation uh, operation uh, 17 times R4. There is already a minus sign, so I will simply add plus 29 times R2. So I get another equal matrix. Now R1, R2, R3 are not in disturbed term. So write as it is 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, 0, 3, minus 2, 11, 3, minus 2, 11, then 0, 0, Minus 70, 68. Minus 70, 68. 68. Now these two elements will be zero because uh, these two elements are zero. And let us look at the next two elements. What happens? Seventy times R four is twenty nine plus twenty nine times corresponding R three is minus seventy. So I can easily make out 
this element is 0. Next, 70 times minus 116 plus 29 times 68. So if you can read through this simplification, 70 into 116 with negative sign is minus 19. 72 and 29 to 68 is also plus 1972. This is equal to 0. The last row is 0. So now look at the ranks of the two matrices involved in this. Portion matrix A has three non zero rows in its second form, rank of A is 3. Augmented matrix is also is having uh, <coughs> non zero rows equal to 3. That means rank of the augmented matrix is also equal to 3. That means the rank of augmented matrix is equal to rank of the uh, coefficient matrix and both are equal to uh, number of elements 1, 2, 3. Again, like in the previous problem, this system of equations is consistent and possess an unique solution. Let us determine that unique solution. Substitute z here, we can find 
y. Substitute both y and z, you will find the value term of x. So from 3, from 3, z is minus 68 by 70 is equal to minus 4. Z is minus 4. From the equation number 2, from the equation number 2, uh, 3 y, 3 y is equal to 2 z or 11 plus 2 z, 11 plus 2 z, z is minus 4, so minus n is equal to 3, so y is equal to, uh, 3 y is equal to 3, so therefore, y is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. Then from 1, from 1, from 1, 3x is equal to 1, minus 3y minus 2z. Substitute the values of z is equal to minus 4 and y is equal to 1 here. So, 3x is 1 minus 3 into 1 and y is 1 minus 2 into z is minus 4. So, 3x is 1 minus 3 plus y that is 9 minus 3 is 6. So therefore, uh, 3x is equal to 6. Therefore, x is equal to 2. The unique solution of the given system of equation are x is equal to 2, y is equal to y, and z is equal to minus 4. z is equal to minus 4. Let me consider next example.
So, <coughs> we have to check the value of k for which <coughs> the given system of equations have a solution that means consistent. And in each case, for values of k, you solve the system of equations. That is the question here. So, as earlier, we shall proceed by writing the system of equations is the matrix equation for as a first step. As a first step, the given system of equations in matrix form, the given system of equations in matrix form. In matrix equation, in matrix equation form can be written as can be written as AX is equal to B, where A is the coefficient matrix, B is the column matrix of constant, X is the column matrix of unknowns, where, where A is the column matrix, you know how to uh, quotient matrix, you know how to write this quotient matrix, 1, 1, 1, quotient of x, quotient of y, quotient of z. Then the second equation, quotient of x is 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 4, 2, 1, 4, 4, 1, 10, 4, 1, 10, this is the quotient matrix, coefficient. of the given system of equations, then your x is the column matrix of unknowns. There are three unknowns, x, y, z, x, y, z. And b is the column matrix of constants. Uh, that is 1, k, k square. 1, k, k square. 1, k, k square. Now first let us write the augmented matrix. The augmented matrix of the given system of equations. Augmented matrix of is augmented matrix is matrix A bar B. is equal to 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 4, k, 2, 1, 4, k, 4, 1, 10, k square, 4, 1, 10, k square. Let us reduce this to a graph form. First of all, let us reduce this to a graph form. <laughs> so, I put a matrix. Is equivalent to, so that is according to the first row, first column, advantage. I multiply this by 2 and subtract to make this 0. I multiply this by 4 and subtract to this to make this element 0. So, R2 will change with respect to the operation R2 minus 2 R2, R2 minus 2 times R1, R3 will change with respect to the operation R3 minus 4 times R2 minus 4 times R2. So, get the equivalent matrix. Row 1 is being used. So, no change here. 1, 1, 1. <coughs> and there is going to be a change in the second row. 
uh, it is very simple. So multiply this by two. So two 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 minus two zero one minus two minus one uh, four minus two is plus two k minus two k minus two k minus two. Then <coughs> the third row, multiply this by four and subtract with this. Four minus four is zero. Uh, one minus four minus three. Ten minus four is six. K square minus four. K square minus four. K square minus four. K square minus. Now, <coughs> I have to make this element zero. Now I have to reduce augmented matrix to its second half form. So this is equal to the R three will change with respect to the operation. Both are negative, so I have to subtract. There is already one in the leading end in the second row advantage. So I just subtract by multiplying R two by three. R three minus three times R two, three times R two. So R one, R two, 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 R So R four R three is minus three. So minus three corresponding element in R two minus one. So minus three plus three. This is zero. Minus three plus three. This is zero. Now what is going to happen here? Six. Eh? R three is six minus three corresponding element of R three is two. So this is six minus six is zero. So these are the Let's see what happens to the next element. R three k square minus four minus three times corresponding R two k minus two k minus two. So this is going to be k square minus four minus three k plus six. So therefore, this is k square uh, minus four plus minus three k. Minus three k plus two. So this is k square minus three k plus two plus two. Okay. So now the given system of equations is consistent only if this becomes zero. If this becomes zero, what happens? Rank of the quotient matrix will be two. Rank of the augmented matrix is also equal to number of natural rows two. Therefore, the system is consistent, and we will be left a solution. One R more solution. Okay. If this is not equal to zero, if this is not equal to zero, then what happens? Rank of quotient matrix will be two. Rank of augmented matrix will be three. So they do not match. That means the system is inconsistent and does not possess a solution. Now, let me write down this. The given system of equations, the given system of equations, the given system of equations is consistent. Is Consistent is consistent. If this element is equal to zero, if k square minus three k plus two equal to zero, sum for k, so I can easily write this. Ah, uh, that is. That is 
k minus 2 into k minus 1 or k minus 1 into k minus 2 equal to 0. So k square minus k minus 2k minus 3k plus 2. Okay, fine. k minus 1 to k minus 2 equal to 0. That is, k is equal to 1 or k is equal to 2. When k is equal to 1 or k is equal to 2, uh, the system of equations is inconsistent. So, for k is equal to, for k is equal to 1 or k is equal to 2. Rank of augmented matrix is equal to rank of the quotient matrix is equal to 2. Is equal to 2. But less than number of rounds. But less than number of rounds. Number of less than number of unknowns. But less than number of unknowns. Okay, that means the system is consistent and possess an infinitely many solution in each case of k is equal to 1 and k is equal to 2. So let us uh, solve this for k is equal to 1 and k is equal to 2. Equation 1, x is equal to 
1 minus y minus z. So this is equal to 1 minus uh, y is 1 plus 2z. So minus 1 minus 2z minus z. So x is uh, minus 3z minus 3z. The infinite number of solutions of this system of given equations for k is equal to 1 are x is equal to minus 3z, y is equal to 1 plus 2z and z is free variable. It is a free variable. It can assume any value. So, for a particular value of z, let us say z is equal to 0, x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, z is equal to 0, is a particular solution. It is a particular solution. It is a particular solution. So, for any value of z, the resulting values of x and y along with that z will satisfy or uh, constitute one of the solutions of the infinite number of solutions. Now, let me take the case 2, case 2, case 2. Again, for case 2, the given system of equations is equal to x plus y plus z is equal to 1. Let us call this as equation number 3 and 4. Equation number 3. Then minus 5 plus 2 z are 2 minus 2. This is 0. 2 minus 2. 0. Okay. Now from 4. From 4. Y is equal to 2 z. From 4 y is equal to 2z y is equal to 2z now from 3 from 3 from 3 x is equal to 1 minus y minus z 1 minus y minus z uh, <coughs> So y is 2z, so this is 1 minus 2z minus z, so this is equal to 1 minus 3z, 1 minus 3z. Okay, x is equal to 1 minus 3z, x is equal to 1 minus 3z, y is equal to 2z, y is equal to 2z, and z is equal to 3 is the infinite number of solutions of the given system of equations for k is equal to 2. Okay. In particular, if we fix z is equal to 0, then x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0, z is equal to 0 is a particular solution, is a particular solution. So with this, I will conclude today's session. I will continue the remaining topics in my next lecture.